Yo, dudes, Armory Channel. What's up, man? Uh, this is my. Uh, you're not going to see me in, uh, doing videos in the bedroom anymore. You're not going to see the blue glass tabletop anymore. I don't think you are anyway. Uh, you never know, man. I'm always changing my mind. But I built this thing in my basement. Just want to show you. This is going to be the new location. Because I have a lot of room down here. I can do a lot more work. I can do a lot more things for you guys to see. And be, maybe be a little more interesting. Instead of seeing my large ass sit down all the time. You know. And uh, here it is. I built this table. And I covered it with like a blue cloth. Because that's the color. Probably going to get all fucked up. But you can see it. I used uh, four by fours. It's uh, just three quarter inch plywood with one by six face plate. Okay, back that shelf back there is a two by four with the uh, blue sheet wrapped around it, and I used a uh, 3M sticky spray. You know what I mean? And I got had this really nice American flag. I put that on the wall. Pretty much plastered it to the wall with that sticky spray. I used like a squeegee. Came out nice. It's a cheap, you know, it was cheaper flag, so it's not a big deal. But uh, it looks cool. It looks really uh, suits what we're doing. Got a couple Got Sig stuff on there. A couple stickers people sent me. There's my gunsmithing box. And we're going to do a little project today. And uh, uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. I've seen it done before, but I haven't seen it done on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to do something. Uh, a buddy of mine, I traded a buddy of mine my five round magazine to my Sega 12 first of all because I can't use it because it's Russian made I need to put American parts on the Sega 12 that's part of the 922 R compliant rule that knicker shit I forgot this number you know he's got the Bushmaster icon that dude knicker he's funny he's cool he's a nice guy he brought it to my attention I thought he was full of shit but he was completely right, and I was completely wrong. Sorry, dude. I didn't know why. I, you know, I just never heard of that, and, and I've mentioned it to a lot of people, and they've never heard of it. And there's hardcore AK Russian collecting weapons people that definitely have heard of it. So here's the deal: when you buy a Sega 12 AK, no, it's not. When you buy a Sega 12 shotgun, you know the AK7, AK47 platform. Um, it's full Russian. Everything on it's Russian. It's a true Russian weapon. Uh, it has no American parts in it. So, if you keep it the way it is, as is, it's fine. But if you add a part to it, you have to make sure you have at least 10... Uh, it has to be 10 compliant points on there. So, what I did was I put an adjustable stock on there, a pistol grip, that counts as two points. So there's two. A magazine counts as three. So I'm up to five already, and I'm getting a four grip for it. That's coming in this week. There's six. I'm going to put a muzzle brake on it. I don't even know if that counts, but I'm going to find out. If it does, I think it does, that would be another one. So that's seven. So I'm going to have to figure out three more. I really don't want to change the internal parts. I like, it. I like the gun because it's Russian made. It's defeating the whole purpose. Uh, I might change the piston. It's not a big deal. But uh, I don't know. If there's other ways around, I'll let you know. <clears throat> I don't want to change the trigger and the hammer. Fuck that. If I have to, I have to. I want the gun legal. It's one thing about the gun world. Don't fuck around with the rules. Don't fuck around. Get, get it legal. Make things legal. Be safe with guns. You know, you got to be anal in this craft. Because it can really bite you in the ass. You don't want to end up in prison because... Because of something stupid like that. Not that it would ever happen. But could it happen? Yeah. Let's make it so it can't happen. That's what I'm saying. Anyway. So this is my new setup. i got a project I'm doing today. This might be a long video. So if you hate long videos, uh, go watch someone else's video. Because this might be long. Okay, here's what, here's what I'm going to do. A friend of mine sent me a 12-round magazine for my Sega. I don't want a 12-round magazine. I don't want a 10 round magazine because when I put it in my gun it, it don't fit in my safe and it's just you know I'm a visual guy you might think this is stupid but I don't like the way a 10 or a 12 magazine looks in the Sega it looks retarded to me 
I mean, if you're at the range and you really want to blow off a lot of uh, a lot of shotgun shells, I guess I guess they're cool. But just for an all-the-time magazine in there, I want an eight or a five round. So this is what I'm going to do. No offense, dude, that you sent me this magazine. I sent you my magazine. We trade it, which is cool. But I'm going to make this one. I am going to convert this into a five round magazine. I'm going to show you how you do it. Now these ribs on here, you're going to have these ribs here. It's the same thing as the rib on the last, at the bottom for the floor plate to, to slide on. So what you got to do is, um, this is 12, the next rib would be 10, okay? Now this is 12, and I guess the 8 rounder would end up around here. The 8 rounder is about from here this way. And this would probably be the 5 round, about right here. So I'm going to make a 5 round out of it, because I have an 8 round coming on the way. Because that's the perfect size, I think. And how you do this, if you want to do this, uh, you got to take the floor plate off. So, I don't know if I'm in the... And it's easy, just push that little button in and slide it the fuck off. Having a real good time with them cartoons, man. You know, it's funny, it's fun. I, I'm not going to do it all the time, though. You know, it, it's really funny, though. I'm really having a good time with it. How about we do it like this, man? Like, how about, like, maybe once a month we do it? You know what I mean? Keep, keep, keep the channel funny. Okay, now I'm going to take this out. Now, one of the crucial things is... Uh, when you're doing this, um, I think, let's see where the hell this camera is, yeah, okay, now what you do is you leave the whole magazine spring intact, and then you look at it and say, well, how far is the spring sticking out past the magazine, because you don't want to cut the spring too short, you have to cut the spring, so it looks like it sticks out probably almost halfway, yeah, halfway the length of the magazine, so what I'll do is, if I'm going to make a five rounder out of this, which is this rib right here, I'll line this up like this, about right there, about right there, it don't have to be exact, okay, and here's the fifth, here's the fifth notch for the five rounds, so I'll cut the magazine half the distance past it, so I'll cut the magazine down here, around, around this area, so that's what I'm going to do, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so far I got the spring cut. I got the spring cut. Here it is. And uh, what I did was I mimicked. This is the uh, bottom of the spring that I cut off. This is where I cut it. Alright, this is the bottom. And I seen how the bottom was. So what I did was I cut this much off and made sure the bottom of this is the exact same shape which it is I cut it and I bent it up and I you know cut it flush made sure it looks exactly like the other one and now I'm going to put the floor this floor plate back onto here uh, for the five round uh, setup so that's what I'm going to do and uh, it just snaps on you know let's see if we can get it on easy if not I'll turn the camera off and fuck around with it um, it's on it's it's staying on but it's loose so it looks like I have to squeeze it a little so you just put on one before you tarp so just get these in there get a little squeeze it's a spring so you got to overdo everything and this just goes on like this this goes on here see now it'll snap on for me snap these little grooves and it snaps in there okay it. Yep, it's in there. There's little teeth in the grooves. It sits right in there. It's going right around, and this one sits in there, and that's it. It's on. All right now, it's set up for five round tension. Okay. Now the next step I got to do, I got to get a hacksaw. This is the fun part. This is the part, the crucial part. I'm gonna have to cut at this rib right here on this side of this rib right here and I gotta make sure the most important thing I don't overcut I gotta make sure I don't cut I hate this camera shit I can make sure I don't cut into this this is the, the lip that holds the floor plate on so I got to cut it along here along here 
just like that and I gotta cut it real nice then I'm probably gonna have to like sand it or file it until it's perfect so uh, uh, we'll be back hold on alright I cut it off okay here's the excess well, what I did was I, 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 I cut it pretty straight this is the burrs this is the part I'll throw away but uh, <clears throat> what I did was I kind of drifted off like I stayed on here in the beginning but then it drifted away from it a little so I got to cut about an eighth of an inch more from here it's got to be perfect man okay so I'm going to start working on that I'm going to start from this end and hopefully I can guide that line and make it you know get as close as you can and then what you do is you get a file and you fine tune it with a file so uh, I'll be back again All right, I'm still filing still filing you gotta have a lot of patience because if you overdo it you're gonna ruin things okay so here, here's the original bottom of the mag okay and this is my cut and I know how this goes on I gotta make sure see this goes on here and that's it it goes on but it's still not uh, going on here too easy yet oops hey it's a little tight so that means I just got to keep filing I got to take you can see it's raised I can feel it all around here it has a there's still material that needs to be removed as soon as I remove this material this will slide on there just like that and we'll be almost done that our five round magazine that we're making so just keeping you posted what I'm doing is uh, make sure you got a good vise. Make sure you use rubber bumpers in there so you don't screw up anything you're working on, especially with guns. And uh, oops, especially with these magazines. Even with the rubber bumpers, you can crush it. You gotta be careful. And then uh, I'm just getting a file and just keep removing material. It's gonna keep going back and forth. Keep fitting it. Keep fitting it. Keep fitting it. So when I'm it's going to take a while, so you ain't going to watch me do that. It's retarded. I'll be back in a, a little bit. All right, we're back. Just got done sanding it. Uh, sometimes good sandpapers use this. You can use this for drywall, like this kind. And uh, what do is just wrap it around. If you ain't got a sander, you just wrap it around a piece of wood like this. You know, and you just make sure you hold it nice and flat. And what's good about this, it won't take too much off at once. That's what you want. You want this to be nice and perfectly smooth. Alright, All right, and just take the burrs off the sides. Just real lightly. And that's it. Now, we're going to see how you want it to fit tight, but not too tight. But you want to have to push it. Okay, here's the floor plate. Let's see if it goes on now. Should. There it goes. Beautiful. Floor plate is on. Take it out of the vise. Now we're going to put the spring in and uh, see how that see how that uh, how that works out. Can't fucking talk. See how that works out. All right. Take the floor plate back off. Ah, that's perfect. I'm going to blow all that damn dirt out of there. That's for sure. I have an air compressor, and of course, there's no air in it because I forgot to fill it up today. So, what I'll do is just drag a rag through this thing. I'm going to fucking buy a rag. Hold on. Ugh, here we go. The best thing to do is get an air compressor if you have one and blow this shit out of here. You don't want no dirt in your magazines, that's for sure. You know what I mean? So I'll just push this rag through. Just to get all the excess plastic and burrs out of there. There's the bottom. See how nice it is? It's perfect. Alright. Okay, now the five dish should be good for a five rail mag. Let's see how it goes out. Like that. Go in nice and free. That's the way we want it. Okay, we'll push this down in there. Like that. 
Okay, floor plate. That. And it should snap if I did everything right. There it is. There it is. We just made a fucking 12 round magazine into a 5. Let's go put it in the gun and see if it uh, feeds right and ejects right. Be right back. Alright. Here's the Sega 12. Got the uh, customize. Uh, we just customize a uh, 12 round mag to a 5 round mag. Let me zoom back a little. My camera up. We're going to put 5 rounds in the mag. Even if, even if it's 4. I don't care, it's just a little stubby mag. In case I just want a stubby one. Let's see how it uh, feeds in there. Okay, there it goes. I'm not used to loading these magazines at all, as you can see. It's weird. They're weird. Something's going on in there, or what? Shouldn't be. There's five. Ma there's five rounds. Okay. Now I'm not used to loading these Sega 12 mags. I'm not used to loading shotguns in the magazine, shotgun shells in the magazine. So it might be me. It's just something you have to, you know, conquer or get good at. Okay, I'll put this in. Okay, locked in there. So far, so good. Now let's see if it feeds right. if she feeds this is live ammunition so I don't have dummy rounds so like I said if you do it use dummy rounds go buy some and I, and I wouldn't do this with live ammunition 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 price is simple English I can't fucking say the word right okay safety's on take it off don't touch the trigger okay one load it let's see two load it three load it Four loaded. Five loaded. It's working. It's working, man. Nothing in there. Little trigger. Take you back on. Looks good to me, man. Am I convinced yet? No. I'm not convinced yet. But, uh, <clears throat> take it to the range and, uh, See, I'm missing one. I'll take it to the range and uh, we'll do a uh, run a couple rounds to it about ten times. You know what I mean? Then then I'll be uh, convinced. But uh, right now it's working. Hope this helped you. I thought it was kind of cool. It's a little different. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a um, a Surefire magazine, and I highly recommend these because I had a Pro Mag. And uh, that thing is a piece of fucking shit. Uh, I, I figure, hey, my Pro Mag for my AK-47 was acting up, so I said, let me try it again with the with the Sega 12. Maybe it's maybe it's you know maybe the problems ain't as bad. And the problems the same problems again. It wouldn't lock in. You had to file the uh, the catch and all. Fuck that. Uh, if you have a Pro Mag and it's working, you're lucky. If you don't have one, don't don't get a Pro Mag. Get a Surefire. And there's a bunch of other ones you can get too. So that's it, man. Uh, I'm gonna keep uh, loading the magazine up, and I'm gonna keep ejecting this uh, to make me feel better about it, so I know it's reliable. All right. Hope you liked the vid. See you soon.